Well, Deb Murphy filed a couple of stories on candidates' forms that were held by the Independent Civic Club in Independence earlier this week, including noting that Inyo County voters have a choice between the continuation of current level of service with some reorganization to provide some more coverage in South County or a new vision because the good old boy system isn't working. That was the picture presented by Inyo County Under Sheriff Jeff Hollowell and Inyo County Deputy Joshua Nicholson, respectively, as they faced off at the Independent Civic Club's voter education forum Monday evening. Now, with the retirement of Inyo Sheriff Bill Lutz, Hollowell's candidacy was a given. Nicholson's a bit of a surprise. Now, among the talking points, Nicholson said he would appoint a school resource officer to serve the whole part of Inyo County and begin building relationships, noting something was better than nothing. Hollowell has discussed potential funding sources for the position with Barry Simpson, who is running uncontested for the position of Inyo County Superintendent of Schools. Now, in his closing statement, Jeff Hollowell explained the sheriff's job wasn't one that you could learn on the job. Nicholson said the choice for voters was easy, either a positive change or a vision and vision or the good old boy status quo. Now, Deb also filed a story noting that maybe incumbent Congress, con Congressman Paul Cook and Democratic challengers Rita Ramirez and Ronald O'Donnell thought Inyo County was locked up or not doable, respectively. For whatever reason, all three were no-shows at Tuesday's Independent Civic Club Voter Education Forum. Republican Tim Donnelly did show up. Democrat Marge Doyle, who was in the Eastern Sierra recently, did respond to three set questions in writing. The two are political polar opposites. Now, for his introductory comments, Donnelly described himself as a hardcore American patriot promising a staffed office in Bishop. Doyle, an RN currently on the board of the Morongo Healthcare District, got into the race over frustration with Congressman Cook's attitude toward the Affordable Care Act. Now, the audience was able to pose questions, and when asked why money was well spent on the illegal immigration wall, but not education, Donnelly's response was, that's a dumb question. Deb's full stories on the forums are posted on sierrawave.net. Well, Caltrans is dedicated to improving all mobility across California for all forms of transportation. Press release notes that Caltrans, along with several other agencies, California Highway Patrol, City of Bishop, Great Basin Unified Air Pollution Control District, Inyo County, Northern Inyo Healthcare District, United States Forest Service, Toyabe Indian Health, and Eastside Velo, they're sponsoring several events throughout May, which is National Bike Month. Now, including the National Bike Month Challenge. Interested individual riders and companies can have teams up to eight people. You can compete by registering online to record personal and bike to work school miles for a contest throughout May. National Bike to School Week next week, May 7th through 11th. Bike to School Day, Thursday, May 10th. And at the end of Bike to School Week, our local CHP will be hosting a bike rodeo. You're going to have a children's obstacle course and a lot more out there Saturday, May 12th, 1 to 3 p.m., Warren Street at Academy. The event will include optional bike registration, face painting. Who doesn't like face painting? Bike and helmet decorating and game booths. California Highway Patrol officers will be handing out children's helmets free to participants while supplies last. Proceeds from the bike rodeo will go to the Caltrans District 9 Scholarship Program for high school students. National Bike to Work Week, May 14th through the 18th, Caltrans District 9, hosting a free informational bike tour of Bishop. That should be really cool, Tuesday, May 15th, beginning at 7.30 a.m. Going to be about an hour. Going to be start at the CHP office and visit several past and current Caltrans projects, sites along the approximately four-mile route. Now, if you would like to RSVP for that, get some more information, christine.nadler at dot.ca.gov. Confirm your spot on the director's ride or to ask any additional questions. Well, Sierra Waves' Kat Greenman talked with Northern Inyo Healthcare District CEO Dr. Kevin Flanagan on some important topics.
You know, having a healthcare district in Bishop is difficult because we know nationally only 7% of physicians uh, are looking to relocate to rural America and practice medicine. So here at the district, we are working hard to continuously recruit primary care physicians, but we're also recruiting advanced practice providers such as nurse practitioners and physician's assistants. And through a partnership between providers with physicians, we're finding that we're able to provide access to the community and working hard to make sure that going forward, uh, we continue to have enough providers here. We understand that currently it can take four to six weeks for a, a new community member to establish with a physician. So we're encouraging everyone, schedule your appointment now, establish your relationship so that when you do have an opportunity or you have a misfortune to need to see somebody, you're an established patient and can get in and be seen immediately. We're also offering same-day service so that those patients who don't have uh, an established relationship are able to come down to our rural health clinic and be seen same day. What are people in a community like Bishop and Northern Inyo Healthcare District supposed to do for specialty care? Well, our healthcare district is working hard to find specialists who are willing to travel here rather than having the patients go down there. And so people like Dr. Harness, our breast cancer surgeon, is here two, three, sometimes four days a month so that ladies who have breast cancer have an opportunity to be seen locally. We're also reaching out and trying to partner with specialty areas such as Adventist Health System as well as City of Hope so that we can establish the opportunity for some of their specialists to come here to our district uh, one or two days a month. We're working with City of Hope to have an oncologist or a cancer doctor here. We're working with Adventist Health to have a cardiologist here two days every other week, so four or five days a month, and we'll expand that as we are able to demonstrate to these partners the success they can have in care delivery when they're here in rural America. All right, thanks for that. We'll be back with more news.